Hello everyone, this is Adel from Oz Engineering and in this video I'll show you how to extract capacitance using Q3D. For this we will create some parallel plates. So let's start by drawing a rectangle. Here I'll change the X size to 1.4 and the Y size to 1.7. Click apply, OK. Now we need to duplicate this rectangle to create the parallel plates. So select it, right click, go to edit, duplicate, long line, select the corner and set Z to 0.1. And click OK. Now if I double click on rectangle 1, we can rename it, uh, I'll rename it P1 and we can change the color. I'll do the same for the second rectangle. To assign copper to the created objects, let's select them. Right click, go to assign boundary and select thin conductor. Here the material is set to copper. Let's click OK. The next step is to identify the nets. So let's go to the project manager, right click on nets, and select auto identify nets. And here you can see our nets identified. Now to add the ground net reduced matrix, right click on reduce matrix, and select ground net. Here we will choose P1 and click save and close. This reduced matrix references the defined ground net instead of the infinite ground. Now we need to add solution setup. So right click on analysis, add solution setup. And let's only select capacitance and click OK. We can now run a uh, validation check. So right click on the design name and click validation check. Then right click on setup one and click analyze. The simulation completed successfully. So uh, let's try to click on setup one and click matrix. Here uh, you can see the capacitance uh, in picofarads. Make sure you're selecting ground net matrix. And here you can see the capacitance value. Now let's take a look at this example of a MEMS die cutout in two configurations, one with pads only and another with paths connected to ARF lines. Following the same workflow, the capacitance of the paths was extracted. Here we can see the simulation setup. So thin conductor uh, boundary condition was applied to the paths. Here you can see our nets identified. The ground net matrix uh, was added with the ground selected. And we can look at the results. So here I'll change it from original to ground net matrix. And here we have the capacitance matrix with the self capacitance on the diagonal and the mutual capacitance on the off diagonal. Going back to the paths with the ARF lines, let's look at the results. Here you can see that the ARF lines introduced a small increase. Uh, but the paths are the primary contributors to the overall capacitance. This concludes this example. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.